Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics and I'm going to show you today how to set up Facebook Live reaction counters for your live streams. Um, the way we're going to do this is we're going to use kind of a open way of using a web browser to pull in a Facebook Live um, reporting of the emojis that are being used on our live stream. So therefore it will work in OBS, it will work in XSplit, it will work in Wirecast, it will work in vMix, it will work in a TriCaster. All you have to do is either take a screen capture of a website or use the web browser input that's in most of these softwares that I mentioned. So really quickly let's go ahead and look at the required steps. So the first thing you have to do is you're going to need a Facebook account obviously to stream to. Um, we're also going to need a Facebook or Facebook or <laughs> Facebook developer app token, and I will show you how to get that. I can't show you my token; I have to keep that secret. Um, you need to get the Facebook post ID. I'll show you how to get that, and then you need a server and a little bit of HTML knowledge, not a lot. That's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, so we're going to dig right into this without further ado. I'm going to show you this in OBS. Um, because I feel like that's going to be an easy one to show how this works. So really quickly, I'll just show you. I've got three of these set up um, for multi-purpose setup. So here's one where it's a full image and a lot of people are just live streaming these to Facebook and prompting the live viewers to respond with an emoji, whether it's a thumbs up or a heart. And um, that will show a live counter of that. The other way that I've designed this to do uh, just a green background so you can chroma key it and put these wherever you want in your live broadcast. And then I did one with a lower third I thought, you know, you, and, and the uh, Adobe Photoshop files are here to, to change all of that information. Okay, so there's two things we need to look at. One is first let me show you how to get the Facebook developer key. So here's my Facebook live stream that we're going to launch during this video. Um, but first, let's go to Facebook Developer. All you have to do is Google Facebook Developer. It's completely free. You come in here and you sign up. Now I've already got all my apps there. Um, and I can't go all the way into this because I can't expose my Facebook developer token. But basically, you go to once you've logged in, you create your app. It's very simple. It's, it's a, a really quick. I think they even have a button here for it. But you very quickly create an app. It takes two seconds. You name it. And then you go to Tools and Support and you go to Access Token Tool. That's all you need to do. I'm not going to go in there. I can't expose my Access Token. But um, you go in there, you copy and paste it. We need that Access Token Tool. Okay, close that now. We're also going to need, once we start this live stream, to grab the app key, and, or the, the live stream um, key, which I believe is right here, this number here. Um, and uh, we need to grab that as well, which we will do. And um, then we need to touch the HTML a little bit. So let me show you what the HTML looks like. So this has to be uploaded to a live server. Um, but once you've done that, uh, you can basically, it'll reach out to Facebook server and it's very, very simple. So let's go with, with this one here. This is, this is the one I want to show you today. I'm not going to have time to show all of the ones with the green screens and stuff, but they will be more explained in our Udemy courses. Um, so this here is basically, all this is, is a website. It's just pulling in a 1920 by 1080 p rendering of this website here. So if we go over to um, the website here, let's just let's let's just show the website real quick. Properties. So this website here. Okay. Here we go. This website is basically exactly that. That's exactly what it's pulling in, and I'll show you the HTML that goes with it. So here's the HTML. I have here's the HTML file, which we're going to open up in a second. This HTML file, which I have right here. Sorry if this looks a little new to you. The original source is from GitHub. That's where I would suggest you getting this. I'm going to put this link below. 
Um, I didn't design all of this. I just kind of tweaked it and edited it. It's uh, from GitHub. And um, there's just two things we really need to do. The one thing is that there's this background URL here. Most people want to customize that. So here's the background URL right here. So this is it. This is just a JPEG image. And I've included a Photoshop file that you can use to very easily change and edit this. Um, so you can just use it over and over and over again. You can also use the green screen version of this um, and use a chroma key and therefore you never have to change it. You can just do all of your live streaming questions to the world and those will just populate right on the screen. So if you've done live streaming that, that should make sense to you. Um, so all we need to do is we need to at enter our access token and our post ID. That's all we need to do. And then upload this to our server and the rest is taken care of via um, via the code that there's like some JavaScript that reaches out to Facebook. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and show you live how this works. So all I have to do is I have to start my YouTube live stream. So let's get the information from YouTube Live. Here's my stream key here. I believe those first 17 digits are the, the stream code. So let's go to, let me just copy and paste this over here and click next. Let me go to OBS here. Here's OBS. The only thing I like to do sometimes is do that on that side, OBS on this side. And I'm going to go to my OBS settings and go to output and then, or sorry, stream and go to Facebook Live, stream key, apply, okay, start streaming. Okay, so let's wait for that to, now while that's uploading. I'm going to go ahead and upload this. To my server. Now I'm going to block out some of the things on my server that I don't want you guys to see, but I do want you to see a little bit of it. I apologize. Some of this stuff is a little okay. So there we go. So I don't. This is basically my server. I am going to upload a new version of this. And I just need to go to content, live shows, Facebook Live, and I need to go to. Where's my HTML file? There. And it's, I'm replacing it because it's a new live stream. Okay. That is now done. All right. Let's go back to our full view here. Okay. So that's showing up there. Um, I actually want to really quickly remove this and add a new one just because it should now change. Okay. Day, 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 day. Let's go to ptoptics slash Facebook. Click on speed SDI. There we go. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Boom. Okay. So I believe it's still using my old stream key. So I have to go in here. And all right, so now I'm going to start the live show. Once the live show started, I think I have to grab a different stream key because it's showing two from my old stream key. So, hey, everybody. What do you think is better? USB 3, click like, 
versus HD SDI. Click love. Okay. Facebook Live reaction test. Okay. Go live. So once you've gone live, then what we do is we need to grab the app key because I obviously have not gotten that. And it's kind of, so you have view permalink. There it is. Where did I, so I clicked view permalink. Where did it go? Let's take this full screen. Okay. Somewhere. It took me forever to find this last time. I clicked view permalink and it just disappeared on me. Where is this darn thing? Because I don't think that's it. Discard. Okay, so we're live. All right, let's go to my um, page. I just got to grab the stream key in order to hook this up into. Okay. Forget how I got this last time. Embed. I think it was through the embed. Code. This is the code. I apologize. It's, it's, it's really tricky to find your code, but that I believe is the code. Without the F. That is what I believe the code is. So let me try uploading this again. Um, sorry, this is taking so long. Upload this again. Yep. Need to upload USB SDI. Place. Okay. Back to OBS. And that's it, really. Okay. So now, once that's done and you have all that stuff hooked up, basically in your live show, it's going to show, it's going to like populate these. So if we go to back to Facebook, here it is. Um, Let's go to this one and we click love. Oh, that's a like. Love, it will eventually populate there. So some more options. It's it's still a little new, but that it's gonna take a second to populate, but that is how it works. And we can pull it into basically any live stream, um, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, there we go. Now it's back. So that should be zero and that should be one. Okay, got it. Okay, cool. It's working. I have to update this real quick. I don't know how quickly OBS refreshes. Browser source. Back to the post ID. Um, let me just grab... Where is it? There it is. Grab that. Sorry this is taking so long, guys, but this is this is basically how it works. A little trickier than normal, but there. Why is it? It's pulling in a cached version of this. Um, but that is it is updating on the server side. So the other thing I could do, I guess, because it's not pulling in the right. I don't know why it's not pulling that. Let me just do one last troubleshooting. If this doesn't work, I will just. I'm going to create a new scene. A new browser input. By 1080. Huh. It's pulling in the cached version of it. Is there a way to refresh? Oh, refresh cache version of the page. Okay, ha, huh. there, one uh, heart. Okay, so that's that's how it works, guys. I saw. I, you have, don't forget to refresh cache if you're using the same one over and over again. 
That is how it works. Phew! Thought it wasn't going to work there. It worked. That's exactly how it happened. Sorry it took 15 minutes. Um, but I'm going to do much quicker versions for each of the major live streaming platforms. And it shouldn't take as long as this, but I wanted to kind of really dig into it with you guys. And maybe we'll do, in the, U in the Udemy courses that are free for Facebook Live, we're going to really dig into this as well. Thanks for watching, everybody, and take care. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video. And don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.